Hey guys, here we are back on Wind Chaser. Uh, last field of soybeans. Um, I'm just running the combine on manual here for a little bit. Um, went ahead and uh, fixed a few things on this map, added a few more viable objects. Now you have to buy the pig barns. <coughs> add a little bit more realism uh, to it. Uh, there's three pig barns on this map. You have to buy all uh, individually and um, I have to put the triggers inside like so you can't actually feed pigs without buying the building. I still have to do that and I'm uh, going to make that farm on the hill. You need to buy it as well. Basically it will be one buy trigger with uh, like collisions around the buildings and stuff so you can still farm the land if you buy the field. Um, field 2 uh, went by pretty fast. I hired it all out in course play so by the time I came back it was pretty much done. Um, I just feel like running the combine on manual for a bit. then I'll uh, set up set up course play again probably start uh, start the uh, tillage on field two GPS course over. Lock it in right there. Um, I increased the clip distance to it's either 200 or 250 now. I think it's 200. Uh, seems to be working pretty well. Uh, has a nice effect. Uh, kind of throws that uh, little bubble that you're in way, way out there, so you get a pretty decent, decent view of your field. Um, it's pretty pretty foggy this morning, this a.m. It's almost 8 o'clock, so... Uh, so I finally finished adding, adding all the grass back in on this map. Um, because when I installed this uh, soil mod, it really... Um, it had a different GR... LE file and the the fruit and cultivator density on this map was 40 4096 I believe and the um, soil mod was also 4096 but it was made for a like 1x and this is a 4x map so I need to double that and so when I doubled the fruit and cultivator the cultivator density looked all funky and the fruit density looked all funky so what I ended up doing was leaving the cultivator density because that was pretty reasonable and then I just deleted my fruit fruit and GRLE um, and then just made the PNG resize it and just made it all black and that seemed to work pretty well um, the only difference is all the fruit on the entire map was deleted it was a clean slate so to speak but all these other um, add-on crops that aren't harvestable fruits, they all stayed. So it still looked pretty good, but I finally finished adding in all the actual grass. Um, so this is our last field of soybeans, like I said, and then it's on the corn. But before it, before I fixed it, it would leave these weird like squares, these stripes. Um, in the field so that really bothered me and so I spent all you know probably additional 10 hours of work trying to figure out how to fix it like how you're supposed to you can just convert the GRE or like the file using the converter Giants provides and then um, um, and 
and just open up your map and save it, and then it will say the PNG is a GRLE. So tried it, and it didn't work. Well, I mean, it did work, but it, it left um, weird on the perimeter. It had all like all the fruit, like withered corn, wheat, all this. It was like really messed up. So I didn't really know what was going on. Um, I tried it a few times, a few different times to convert everything to the same, and I was getting the same issue, and then same weird stripe, so I just said the heck with it, and just deleted my fruit, and I didn't want to do it, because I would lose all the data, but a couple hours to put the grass back in, and, and now I can just go back and kind of like fine-tune everything, spruce it up. I'm really happy now. I'm really happy with how everything looks and, and functions. And um, I'm a huge fan of the soil mod. That's why I went through all the trouble of of making it work. Um, other people probably would just say screw it and uh, get rid of the soil mod. But you know, with without see what I mean? Like I had to add grass in quick, so it's on the roads and you know not as nice up tight against the roads as it used to be. So. It's going to take a couple more sessions to refine it along all the roads, main visible spots. And, you know, as I play play the map a little bit, I get a really close view of these areas and just jot it down and make a note of what needs to be fixed. So when I uh, unzip the map and open it up in G uh, GE again, I can go back and, you know, look at my list of things to fix and go back and spruce it up. You know, like, <clears throat> I've had to adjust a lot of different uh, triggers for, like, uh, seed and and uh, water and had to adjust some roads and, you know, move fields back away from power lines like this. I had to move it back about a meter because it was, like, way too close. And then you can go in and use your uh, thousand cultivators and run G nice G GPS lines to get it all nice and clean cut so it looks good in the mat the giants editor and It's starting to go away as we get closer to 8 o'clock here. So it's about 2.30 in the morning here. Um, I had, oh, it was a long week and I just came home after lab. I uh, got done with my fixed class, fixed prosthodontics. It's like crowning bridge work. Got done with that around 5 and just came home and crashed. Um, and so then I just like finally spruced up this map and added in those viable objects just because I wanted to get into uh, some pig farming for you guys. Um, that way I'd have a reason to use those new um, manure, uh, liquid manure spreaders by Fraser Cow. So, um, I'm still trying to get my yield down on my soybean because it's still too high. Um, for me at least. So I'm trying to put in some new lines. It's, it doesn't really want to listen to the additional fruit type lines in the mod description. So it's just another one of those trial and error things, but um, if 
you guys are uh, on my Facebook page at all, you would see that I started a new project. Um, I really, you know, this there's uh, a huge benefit of using a sprayer on this game to apply your uh, fertilizers and your herbicides and you know, nutrients and that's because it adds moisture and moisture is pretty hard to maintain in this game because it rains so infrequently and it's always you know sunny days it seems like it's always like four sunny days to every rain um, so it's really lopsided for retaining your moisture or even trying to like recoup it because you lose 14% every time you plow plow and cultivate so and, uh, so, and I don't really want to use the Pantera sprayer. I know there's a Challenger sprayer out there, but that's not really um, something I would ever see where I'm from. Um, I think that's more like a European uh, sprayer. It's definitely not a North American or a Midwest piece of equipment. Um, and I'm really sick of the pole type. Just not not necessarily that's a pull tap. I'm just sick of using an Amazon. So I uh, started uh, a new sprayer. Uh, just working on the frame now, but uh, it's coming on shortly but surely. And it's definitely going to be another one of those um, high detailed mods to uh, complement the MT. which I just have chilling right there um, until I can get some room to park a truck and make headlines. I think I'm going to start messing around with UPK on this map too. Um, uh, and then there is also a new like pig and cattle mod that's been like version 4. So I'll probably try to implement that into this game as well. Um, just have been so far removed from map map scripting and editing just because I've had the map where I wanted it for a while but now that new additional scripts revised scripts have come out um, it would be great ability to because um, I use the swine the pig the pig and cattle and when you buy it they go to all the barns like I have one beef so it's not that big of a deal but cattle or a uh, pig it goes you buy a hundred pigs 100 pigs show up at all three barns now they won't produce anything unless you feed them but still I just that kind of bothers me uh, you can go in your save game file and remove them um, from the two other barns and keep it at your one barn but still and then there's no ability to like fatten or grow and then the the, the animals that you do own um, or that grow or like populate they don't contribute to production of any new uh, any new pigs or, or beef so that was another thing that bothered me so that's just one reason why I haven't really been doing much uh, pig or cattle just because it's not it's just not um, has issues 
Um, I'd like to get back to Derry soon. Uh, but... That, uh, that's a lot of work, but now that there's the nice um, forage harvesters out there, I'd like to see uh, Bolgor's uh, big crone that has the ability to pick up like hay and straw, but not uh, chop it into chaff or haylage or whatever you want to call it. Um, but you could actually pick it up as just straight grass or straight straw so you didn't have to bale it. That'd be cool. Now that the scripts have been released, hopefully they can figure out how to implement that and bring it back to 15, or bring it to 15. Because um, that was a huge feature of that, that mod in 13, is the ability to pick up without chopping. You know, because not everything needs to be silage. Uh, my fermenting silos... They, um, I can unload grain and it will ferment, it will ferment it like it's silage, so. start the course on this probably like somewhere right there and then our hot rod of a rig with our tarp texture. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and refine this model. Um, the interior. Uh, redo some lights. Some bracketing. Um, just spruce it up. Give it a revision. It needs a revision. this will be able to uh, start our course meanwhile I'm gonna take this guy and to 100.2 hours on this bad boy. So, I think this is its last fall tillage. And I just want to make sure that Seven and four. Eight and four. So this is field seventeen. 
So I'm going to start south, west, go east. Let's, uh... Actually, I'll do the headland last. I'm going to do uh, a down and back to increase this headland a little bit. So I have room to turn, the grain cart has room to turn. And, uh, but I'm a huge fan of increasing this clip distance because it doesn't really affect my gameplay whatsoever. It's still 60 frames a second. My GPU is at 76%. Uh, even with all this chop straw and all this... Uh, soybean and corn texture and recording so can't ask for much more than that so it's nice that I can get my primary tillage done right you know while we're still harvesting in the same growth stage. Uh, it's the first time I started doing that. I usually waited till after harvest and I would put down like uh, some kind of fer uh, fertilizer. Um, but we kind of switched up our practice a little bit. So we pretty much after we plow I'll just go ahead and spray with water uh, no no fertilizer just water and uh, just to level out the moisture loss from plowing and, and just try to replenish that without any um, adding any fertilizer because we really don't need it this chopped straw when you plow it it adds like two points of nitrogen and PK so There's really no need to put down any kind of liquid other than water. You could put down a herbicide, but at this this early in the stage, it's kind of um, silly. I mean, you could put down a herbicide once you plant or within the first growth. I'd probably do it right after you plant within the same growth stage if you're going to put down herbicide because it takes a while to kill the weeds if at all. And we just bring up our HUD here, and you can see we're a little bit low in the nutrients compared to field 17. Um, that's okay, this will be up. So this field will be uh, corn. next want a nice big headland over here next to the power lines. So 
So this field is actually smaller than that field, so... Not by much, though. By like 0 0.6... hectares or something.
soybeans are always kind of boring to harvest. So, um, I'll probably just end the video here. You guys are probably sick of soybeans at this point, and hopefully uh, next video is uh, corn, or at least a multiplayer video again. Or uh, maybe a tutorial or a build video, I'm not really sure. I'll probably uh, maybe record um, me building the, the Rogator or something like that, so you guys can watch. I don't know, so... So thanks for watching.